All right, hey guys, welcome to the first ever Star Wars Wednesdays. Uh, we're going to be playing some, as you can see on the screen, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One of, definitely, my favorite Star Wars games of all time, and that's saying something since I've been playing Star Wars video games since the early 90s. Uh, and I've played almost all of them. Uh, it's, for those of you that are no, don't know it, it's an RPG. One of the very first ones by Bioware, uh, from even before uh, Mass Effect. In fact, it's one of their first big hits. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to get re into it in just a second. I'm going to be going full dark side. Uh, so, I'm going to be the worst killing, stealing, morally bankrupt protagonist you can imagine. Or is capable of in this game, anyway. And, uh... I'm also going to go, because who doesn't love Force Lightning? That's really what's the point of being a Sith if you don't get your Force Lightning. I'm going to be going uh, Jedi Consular when I get the chance, so that I can get as much out of my Force powers as possible. So with that said, uh, let's get started. New game. Uh, I'm going to play male. I don't always. But, you know, in this case, I think I will. Uh, custom character. Quick characters are for fools. And pretenders. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, alright, let's see. Don't remember what any of these guys look like when they go full dark side. Man, that mustache, though. Might have to come back to that one. Alright, as the guy with by far the best facial hair out of all of these portraits, I gotta go with this guy. Attributes. Going strongly wisdom. Secondary into charisma and dexterity. Mostly for survivability, but also for early game. Uh, I'm going to be playing ranged. Get everything else up to 10 and see if we've got anything left. Um, yeah, I can't afford to put two more points, and there's no point in putting one. Um, let's go constitution to 12. And intelligence to 12. So, because of the way the uh, leveling up system in this game, it's it's an RPG like classic RPGs, where it's basically based on a tabletop RPG type system. Uh, in terms of, you know, you have your six uh, attributes, you have skills, you have feats, you get different ones at different levels, etc., etc. All classes are different. And so on. Uh, because of the way this system works, over the course of a full run to, 20 le to level 20, which is the max level in this game, uh, I'm going to get five uh, times where I can raise one attribute by one point. Those are all going into Wisdom, because Wisdom's your primary uh, casting stat, force stat. Uh, so for the rest of these, with the exception of equipment... Uh, modifications, that is what our stats are going to be for the entire game. Moving on to skills. Let's see. Unfortunately, a lot of the good stuff is going to be cross-class for us. Uh, I'm going to go computer use. And there's really, as far as I'm concerned, not much point uh, taking a skill that you don't max out. We'll go repair. Uh, I am going to go persuade, even though it's cross-class, because I have a reasonable charisma. And because I like to be able to talk people into things. With my last four points... We'll go treat injury. Good to be able to keep ourselves alive. Okay. Feats. 
Well, late game, I'm pretty much never going to hit anybody with any weapon. So, weapon feats, not a priority. Um... I mean, honestly, I don't need that many feats for this build, so all things considered, I think, even though it really doesn't make that much sense long term, I'm going to go weapon focus blaster rifle. That's just so I can actually stay alive in the early game. Name. Let's... Randomize a first name. Warm. Wow, who names <laughs> names their child Warm? Nice. Brogus. Wow. That's Wow, that's that's terrible. Some of the parents of the random name generator people hated their kids. Talor Jun. We'll do Jun. We'll be Jun Llama. Or Yama. It could be Spanish. Alright, and with that, we have our character. Let's get into it. <sighs> so good. Mm, if that music doesn't get you going, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'll do the dramatic read for this, why not? 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance... Malik's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable, as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Terrace, a Jedi battle fleet engages with the forces of Darth Malik in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. I will say, I haven't tested this, so I hope you guys can see this video. They do movies weird. The software handles movies weird in this game, so I really hope you guys are getting to see this. I will check in a second. There we are. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Man, these graphics, so good. All right, hold on guys, one second. I'm gonna make sure that the movies are working properly in the stream.
All right, looks like the uh, <laughs> looks like the uh, the movies are not working in the stream. Glories of uh, streaming old video games. But uh, so I guess it's a good thing I did the dramatic read. Um, not sure what I can do with do about that right now. Uh, for the moment, I guess I'll just have to tell you what you miss. Uh, future streams, I'll try and figure out if I can get those so you can see them. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the game handles them very oddly. Uh, I don't even think it plays them in game. I think it actually like plays them over top of the game running in the background. Uh, which is why you guys just saw a black screen. Uh, but you didn't miss much. All that happened was there was a full-on Star Wars style uh, text crawl, which I read, and then you see the ship that we're currently in, which is a Hammerhead st uh, class battle cruiser, being attacked by a Sith fleet uh, over a planet. And then we came back to where we are now. So let's see. Let's say, who are you? I'm Tras Volgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. I'm your bunkmate here on the. Who is Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Man, this guy is really gung-ho, I'm just saying. Uh, fuck that. Oath or no oath, I'm heading to the Don't escape pods. Stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. Yeah, says you. You stick together if you want to make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. I really feel like what he means is, uh, he wouldn't stand a chance if I went off on my own, or on his own. Let's get our stuff. Okay, put on some clothes, that's nice and all. Part of your package, not bad. Didn't realize we started with that. Blaster pistol! Oh yeah. Nice. Very Han Solo. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. I mean, I suppose that's probably true in general, but I really don't think that uh, Trask is the guy. Because of the attack, this room is That's going to make them much di that much difference. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. Yay, tutorial! I'm really glad now that I turned off the tutorial pop-ups at least. You take the lead again. This is Cartel Nancy. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was oh. Karth contacting us on our... <laughs> oh good, leader. another gung-ho soldier one of the type. best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Alright, let's move out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this game takes place way, way before the, uh... Even the prequel locked. movies. I don't have the codes to open it. But switch me to the party leader so you can use my security. Okay. That was just more tutorial messages, which is why I skipped it. Uh, this game takes place way before even the prequels. Uh, and for a long time was totally canon. But with the new Disney owned the canon, uh, this has been relegated to legacy. Though I did hear that apparently uh, there's some chance that uh, 
Revan, the Dark Lord mentioned in the opening crawl, might become uh, canon again, which would be awesome. That would give uh, the opportunity for this whole game to be made canon again. Oh, poor droid. Like, I don't really care about all these soldiers that died, I'm just looting them, but I kind of feel bad when the droids die. They make such pitiful noises. Alright. This early combat. Ooh. Man, I am not good. I should really check what Trask has got going on. Well, first of all, you don't need any clothes. And you should be definitely uh, going in melee style. In fact, actually, I'm just going to run with you in front, because I want you between me and all the lasers and other pointy bits. Ooh. Sure. Armor. Excellent. Um... I like dual wielding as much as the next guy, but I don't have any of the feats for it, and right now I think it would just make me miss everybody. You can have a longsword, though. Hey, it's a big battle! They show that right there, that thing with the, uh... ...weird... ...column... ...blowing up. You never get to do that in the game ever again. It makes me really sad. I really wish there were, like, exploding barrels in this game. Alright. You go on over there and attract attention. I assume that this is supposed to be a tutorial for grenades. At least that's how I always assumed it, considering how they grouped up the enemies. Uh, and how they just showed you a grenade being used. But I never actually do that. So... Grenades are too precious to waste them on, uh, intro-level enemies. Ooh, hey! Utilities are- Oh, That's- That's always sad. I swear, every time, it gets me every- Ooh, wait. Do you hear that? Can I- Can I sneak my camera through here? No. Sounds like, uh, lightsaber combat to me. You know, not that I'd know anything about that. Okay. Moving right along. Dark Jedi. Oh. This fight is too much for us. We gotta stay back. All we do is get in the way. See, I mean, who doesn't want to be a Sith? They clearly have, like, the best outfits. Best color lightsabers. The Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. One of the things that happens in these early parts is normally the game pauses when you enter combat. But uh, also, why can't I loot these guys' lightsabers? That's unfair. Uh, but normally the game pauses when you enter combat. But because sometimes combat starts in the middle of a cutscene, sometimes you end up missing out on that pause. Which is a little too bad. I believe the game's going to try and force me to use a melee weapon now. Not that I'm going to do it, but I think I have to put one out to uh, open this door. Yep. And then straight back to my blaster pistol. Switch to... You... go take attention away from me. Oh, they all blew up. I was trying to shoot them, but they all blew up. Oh, now they, those blew up. I guess, I think... They don't expect you to finish that fight that early. So, uh... Ooh, man, that's a lot of exploding. They really want that fight to, uh, to take longer, so you're not supposed to have the chance to fight these guys. They don't really want... They really want all those Republic soldiers to die. Now you, I'm sorry, but you get nothing now. Because I know what's going to happen. Yes. Why are you yes. stuck? All right. He seems to be frozen. Or at least it won't let me control him. Oh, this is a thing... I forgot all about this. Sure. It's been a while since I played this game. Uh, on higher resolutions, 
or uh, well, I should say not higher resolutions, but on higher frame rates, the game occasionally has a problem where after you uh, you finish combat, it won't accept input to move your character. But you can fix that by turning on V-Sync. And that takes care of the whole problem. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It wants me to level up. I don't really want to, but it doesn't give you a choice for this uh, first level. It won't actually let you through the door unless you level up. So we'll go computer use, repair, trade injury. Yes. Beats. Uh, I guess toughness? Let's get some health hit points. That's good. Like, none of those feats really matter for the build I'm going for. So. Something behind here. Oh, really? How did you know that? Another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the He's got an even cooler uh, outfit. His is all black. I like it. More explosions, and yeah, he's super dead. We never see him again. We just assume that he's super dead. This is Carthal Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Yeah, all right. Show your tits, Karth. Just shoot this guy till he dies. And hope he doesn't hit me too much. Early game, that's pretty much all you can do is hope no one hits you. That is the benefit of having set my dexterity to uh, 14, though. I should get hit less often. Because dexterity applies both to your ability to hit with ranged weapons and your ability to dodge attacks. So, if we're honest, mostly it just ends up looking like people miss you. Every once in a while, you'll see my character do a little uh, dodging animation. So that guy is shooting right through me. Like his blaster bolts are phasing through my body. Troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Karth, as another man with at least reasonable facial hair, I will choose to listen to you. Yeah, I don't need the tutorial, thank you very much. Hey look, there's a bunch of dudes in there. That guy's got red armor. Not gonna save you from this. Oh, satisfying. And you're gonna give me prototype Viper Blade and an Ion Blaster. Thank you. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Uh, how do I know I can trust you? Soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Inner Spire. Vassal's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Yeah, all right, fine. But you did say there'd be time for questions later. I'm, I'm holding you to that. Use the escape pod. Alright, more movies you guys aren't going to see. All you're missing is an escape pod launching out of the side of the ship, which then explodes, and then the escape pod starts to burn up in the atmosphere before making a huge crash in the middle of a populated area.
Okay, now what you're missing is me having a nightmare about some woman with a yellow lightsaber and a uh, weird hairstyle fighting a guy in a mask with a red lightsaber. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Do I remember? Listen, Karth, only one of us here is an old man, and it's not me. Uh... Let's see... Where am I? How did I get here? Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment. Says you. Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. But luckily, I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion. And I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. The Sith? under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw you brag some more, why don't you? You understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Well, I'm fine with that, but fuck Bastila. Why is it so important to find her? Your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malik's Sith Master. Bastil is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith She's one Jedi. Bastila How can she be that important? And set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. <sighs> yeah, okay, there's the question I just asked. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so Bastila important? Is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Alright. Sounds like excuses, but whatever. Uh, you know what? Fucking forget it. I'm not risking my life to try and save some bitchy little Jedi. I don't think you understand the situation. But we can't hide on this planet forever. Eventually the Sith will find us, and trust me, you don't want that. Maybe Getting I do want that. This world isn't gonna be easy. We're probably gonna need Bastila's help. Not to mention that without her, the whole Republic war effort is doomed. Like I care. Alright, let's keep trying to convince her. If Basil's a Jedi, she can probably look out for herself. Not that Basil's I give a shit. Need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. But if we're careful, yeah, it says you. I'm fucking important to, to me. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Basil is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call back. All right, we heard that line already. Thanks. Yeah. Through the Force, Basil. Yeah, we heard this. The attack in the end. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So, if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. <sighs> Fine. If it means getting off this planet, I guess I can help you find Bastila. Oh, good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. All right, come on. Well, no, wait. Let me ask you some questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though. I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Uh, what do you know about Malik and the Sith? I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. 
He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak well, and his yeah. Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. My kind of people. Imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Hey, hey. Don't be all judgy like that. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong. And against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. All right. Good for him. Sounds like Malak and the Sith have the right idea. How can you say that? The Sith are butchers. Soldiers, civilians, I mean, they don't care who they kill, even, even children. Right now, sure. the Republic is the only thing keeping Malak's brutal fist from crushing the entire galaxy. And it won't be long until even the Republic falls to the Sith fleet. It then sounds like it's time for the Republic to die. Alright, you know what? Let's see, is there anything else I want to know about you? Alright, let's ask about you. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Yeah, alright, we'll talk more later. In the meantime, tell me about this planet. was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. That was a long time ago. The upper city, where the rich citizens live, is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop-bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... That's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls. Mindless disease. Yeah, rat ghouls are a bad you. time. You entered all this info into your data pad journal. Hey, don't go touching my journal. Carsman reading my journal. That's not cool. Alright, let's go scout this planet. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. You don't I say. If you don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. You act like you're in charge, but you're going to follow me around like a puppy, so... Maybe you ought to get off your high horse, asshole. Uh, let's see. Use this workbench. Upgrade that, just because it's the only thing I have. Um... Alright, I can't... I need to... change Karth's, Karth's equipment, but... Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! Huh. This is a raid! <laughs> Yeah, talk back. That's gonna be smart. Yep, that's what I thought. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! I I gotta say, I kinda feel like he's jumping to conclusions a little there. Like, he goes straight from, you know, oh, random people in the... Can I really not use a longsword? Oh, I have to unequip my... Alright. This isn't balanced, is it? No. So that prime main hand... Uh, this is balanced, so that can go in the offhand. You don't need clothes. Not right now. They don't do anything. 
Sure. And I kind of think since you've been such a bitch, that it's uh, pretty okay for you to run around in your underwear for a while. I didn't help you, I was just defending myself. Don't assume things about me. I don't understand. You said a different patrol came the other day, and somehow you think killing this one is going to make them come here less? Now you're, you're dumb. Stay out of my way, or I'll kill you too. Well, I guess at least he's helping me out a little. Alright, I will not kill you right now. You should say thank you. Alright, let's get the backpack. Uh, blaster rifle? Yes, thank you. And, oh, nope, can't. Kind of looks like I ought to be able to loot him, but that's because he didn't actually... The game does this occasionally. In cutscenes, it won't act... People that will die, but it doesn't actually uh, kill them. It just spawns them lying down. So that guy's actually alive. He's just not moving He's li and lying down, and he's been forbidden from being clicked on, even though I still get the icon. A little silly. But, you know, it's an old game. Uh, oh right, what am I doing? Sorry. No! Let me, let me not... Fuck, alright. I didn't mean to level up, it was just reflex. I really don't want to. Ah! Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll level up, but then I'm gonna load back the, uh... Autosave. So that I don't have to... Keep the level up. There we go. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal community. Oh, that's a long way back. Damn it. Alright. Well, at least I can get through these conversations as quickly as possible. I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. you taken care of. Click through all that. Is there anything to loot in here? Foot locker. Thank you. Lord the Lord Powers Conduit. Everyone's dead. Get prototype fiber blade. You made it just in time. All right. How do I know I can trust you, etc., etc.? Yeah, we're gonna go crash on the planet. I have a nightmare. I wake up. Karth starts talking to me. I tell him how Basila we should fuck off rather than try and help Basila. He doesn't give me a choice. I say forget it. I keep trying to, uh... Convince him that Bastila can take care of herself. I finally give in. I say let's scout this planet. 
Okay, that pretty much puts us back where we were. And leave the apartment complex. And we're back. Right, you alien scum. Okay. Back where we started. This time... Not gonna let that happen. Naked Karth. And we're all good. Oh, wait. I can have Karth's blaster. That's nice. Keep that. Alright. Karth, you gonna fight somebody? There we go. Uh, stay out of my way or I'll kill you too. Quick save. Now we're all good. Let's go around and break into some houses. Can't remember, does Karth have security? Alright, that's just gonna be faster. It's open. Who are you? What Hello, are you doing in here? Dia? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Says who? I'm just going to stay out of my way and you won't get hurt. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. Ah. What? All right, maybe I'll you again. talk to her again. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Who's Just Holden? one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. Uh, how so? I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Uh, okay, let's try the... Pr you can trust me. Maybe I can help. Well, I suppose you seem like an alright sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Credits? I think I'll just collect that bounty on Wait, your head. Think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. I agree with you in every possible respect. Uh, thing is, I don't care about justice, I just want the credits. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. Fuck you, Karth. Get out of my, uh, get out of my way. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. I kind of think you probably are. <laughs> yeah, turns out you were exactly as helpless as you looked. Ooh, you even had a frag grenade. Jeez. A little overprepared much? Uh, most of the revenants are you know, aliens. Hello, Larim. Uh, I don't care what your name is, and I'm not telling Look, you mine. I'm trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Fuck off, Garth. Energy shields, you say? Hmm. I mean, I know all about energy shields, obviously. How did some guy in a slum get an energy shield? Well, alright. I guess I won't question it. 
Let's see, let me see what you got for sale. I don't think I can afford anything. But maybe I've got something I can... No, nah, clothes aren't worth anything, but I will get them out of my inventory. Because, hey, Karth never wears, needs to wear clothes again. Uh, I'll sell one of those, but Karth should probably equip the other one. Those can go away. Those can go away because they're pointless. I need to equip that blaster rifle, actually. All right. I don't need the adrenal strength. How much is the what? What have you got? How much? I've got three hundred nineteen credits. How much is this energy shield? That's a lot of my money right now. Heavy weapons. That's not gonna help me out. The thing is, uh, I want to do Terrace without leveling up, if I can, and that's going to be hard. I'm going to need uh, as much equipment as possible, and I'm going to need to outfit my, uh, my companions as much as possible, because if I save my levels that way, I can use them later in the game to better effect. So even though this kind of thing's expensive, it might end up being worthwhile. We'll just have to see. I'm not going to do it now, on the armor at least, or the energy shield, but I'm going to keep them in mind that that light battle armor is here for 275 I'm not sure how much prices vary from uh, merchant to merchant. Alright, let's keep looting. What? On it. It's open. I appreciate that in this game, people actually complain about you looting them. They just get- they're just too afraid to do anything about it, most of the time. Alright, that's to the episode, that's to the outside. On it. Gotta say, I- Karth, I don't like you very much. But this whole, like, bodysuit underwear thing that you got going on... It's actually kind of styling. Let's see. No, nothing in there. On it. It's open. Uh, foot locker. I think that's our apartment, yeah, because here's all the dead dudes. This guy also, like, did they also spawn him dead? Despite the fact that we actually fought him? That's weird. Alright, let's get out of this uh, apartment complex. Out into the city. Oh! Well, okay, first of all, journal entry. Also, can I talk to Karth now? I think yes, that's a thing. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot yeah. for the Republic for years. Seen one of my shit wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these sick animals combination. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. Ah, uh, I see. You got a grudge. Submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Talking like it's your fault. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I... It's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well. Not really. Questions. I'm just not accustomed to no, I really don't mean well. I'm kind of just prying oh, for, this, for the opportunity to maybe you piss you off and get some dark side points. Well, let's just do Oh, he fucking failed them. There's no question, Silas. Karth is a, Karth is fucking useless in almost every way. Well, that's yeah. That kind of explains why uh, I got knocked unconscious by the crash. That was a really solid sidewalk. Kind of surprised we're even alive after that.
go. Hey, look! Kebla's shop. Ooh. I'm gonna talk to the droid. I like droids better than people. Aw. He's working so hard. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. I wonder how silly the voice actor said felt uh, saying that name. Best selection on the planet. Kebla Yurt. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. I like how they've got swords on the wall. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's sure. Let's see what you Just got for so sale. You know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I just want to kind of see if your body armor costs the same. No, actually, the guy back in the other, uh, in the apartments, his body armor is five credits cheaper than hers. And not that I'm going to buy either of them right now, but it's good to know. Might buy this blaster rifle. No, I really... I'm so used to playing this game and only really spending money on uh, equipment for myself. I've never really tried to do this whole... Uh, try to... Um, only do Terrace at level 2 thing. So... It's going to take a little getting used to. I should probably buy a vibro sword. Just one, but that's actually probably a worthwhile investment. And I should probably go back and buy the other light body armor, but I'm not going to do it just this second. Karth, I don't like you at all. However, you make an excellent meat shield between me and the people trying to shoot me. Hello, Sith Trooper. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. I like your armor. Let's go get drunk. Yeah, yeah. Don't need to talk to you yet. Hi, Garu. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. I ought to do this eventually anyway, because honestly, Pazak, later on in the game, once you have good cards, can be a pretty good way to make money. Uh, so, uh, yeah, sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here. I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else? Nope, nothing else. I'll be going now. now. Of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Yeah, yeah, okay. What? Pazak is basically blackjack with some, like, weird Star Wars twists. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to you. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. Ooh, a Sith officer. You must be interested in me because of my facial hair. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana. Junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. Nice to meet you, Sarna. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. Aw, lonely are you? That's true, but people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone Psh, on Facial hair is the best. What are you talking about? bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? I mean, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> to be fair, it's not great, but it's the best facial hair that was available to me. And... Excuse me. 
Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I tried to make the best of it. Good for you. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. You, maybe you just, uh, need to blow off a little steam That's once in a while. True. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the military base. Mm -hmm. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. Oh, yeah? I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Done! I am in! Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm all about it. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to talk to any of those guys. I'm talk to this. Where bitch. did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And Probably, actually, yeah. Uh, or I have no idea what you're talking about. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. Oh no! Oh no! No no! Oh no! No no! Fuck you! Shut up, you spoiled How brat! How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Good. Go tell him. Say it to his face too. Let's go watch a duel. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. That's the yeah, most accurate statement he could possibly have made. Screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! And I could probably give all this guy's patter from memory. I've heard it so many times. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever persistent Jedi Duncan! Alright, let's watch the most pitiful duel in history. Yeah, yeah, he drops his gun and then gets shot in the chest. And to nobody's great surprise, Jedi Seriously, could he be more pitiful? Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual. As usual. He's basically the this game's version of Glass Joe from Punch Out. Even the uh, announcers take it to shit. I love it. Let's see if we can laugh at him. What are you looking at? Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Uh, you don't look so tough. Big talk. Go speak with him in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. You picked the wrong guy, did I? Do I want to step into the dueling ring? Highly profitable, you say. Do tell more. I like money. Credits are how to get my attention. Let's see. It might be interested. What's in it for me? Ten percent's kind of low, but I understand you don't know me. Any weapons I want, huh? Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take? Oh, fuck off, Karth. You act like I couldn't win. 
But yeah, the ring has energy suppressors to keep people from dying. They still get fucked up, though. Uh, I do want more than 10%. Yeah, that was predictable. Not exactly like uh, bargaining with a hut's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, alright, I'll do it. Good name for me, huh? Let's see... Mysterious stranger. Man, that's so played out. That's a terrible name. I mean, really, that is a terrible name. Ah, fuck it. Apparently, I don't get a choice. Alright, fine. You know what? Fuck it. If it makes people bet more, that means more money for me, and I don't... You can call me whatever you want. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew... Karth, for the first time in your life, you've made a relevant point. Oh, uh, yes, I get to fight the asshole that was, like, calling me fresh meat. I'm so down. It's kind of bullshit that they won't let me, like, actually kill the people, but whatever. At least that means I get to, like, laugh in their face afterwards. Yes. Yes, I am ready to fight. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. Man. Look at those audience sprites, though. <laughs> Man, that really shows this game's age. Now he's calling me fresh meat, too. Fuck off. Alright, well, that was actually a pretty good intro. I can't really complain that much. Man, you're shit. That was laughably easy. No, I'll do better than that. Don't worry about that. I'm not sure whether I can right away, but, you know, we'll see. I'll at least go get paid. You know, I just realized I still haven't equipped that blaster rifle. I am incredibly forgetful. Yeah, yeah. Give me my money. Alright, you know what? While I'm thinking about it... Blaster Rifle. Karth, you're pretty set up. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna give a shot at the second one. I don't think I can necessarily do it. I've never tried to do this whole, like, level 2 only thing before. I'm told you can do 
dueling ring successfully, but I it's not the easiest thing in the world. Against the best duel sometimes. I mean, there's only like four of them or something. I'm ready for a duel. He uses blasters sometimes? He always uses blasters. Just get to the part where I get paid for having knocked him around, Hut. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlang Tufinger. I like how the announcer goes all Scottish just for a second in the middle of that line. I will say, it annoys me that every time they load you with your character facing the wrong way. I mean, what's that about? Alright, this seems to be going okay. Yeah, not the most dynamic of fights, and uh, if I'm honest, they're not gonna be while I'm still on Terrace. Really, the fun part is after this planet. I mean, there's some good stuff here, it's just none of it's combat stuff. Hey, I won! Yay! Only time will tell, huh? I mean, there was literally, literally like five seconds between those fights. Yeah, yeah. I get paid. I know. You said that last time. I knew you'd be back. They all come back. <laughs> Could you sound more like the Godfather right now, other than, the, you know, the fact that you, uh, are a hut? Comparing something to a virus doesn't really make me want to do it, I'm just saying. I know he's trying, but that seems like trying too hard. I'm trying to remember, I think Ice goes all melee, which is an annoyance. It's probably going to make this fight take forever. Oh, blaster. Good. As long as they stay away from me, I have a reasonable chance right now, I think. But she might be too much for me. Alright, let's see what I can do. Well, apparently one thing I... Oh, I hit her! I'm getting hit, though. I have a feeling this is not gonna go well. Yeah, I'm gonna get wrecked. Alright, I'll have to come back here with, like, an energy shield or something like that. And probably a better weapon. Yeah, that... I got... I got wrecked. Stranger, but ice is tough. She never goes 
goes down easy. That's what she said, I guess. Yep, ow. Can I not? Huh, it must be because I'm in here. I know there's a free first aid kit, med kit, over here, but I don't really want to use it. I think I need to, though. That's right, I got 13. It takes one. Wow, yeah, that's how little health I have. One regular med pack fixes me up. Alright. I should have you out in front. Because... Hey, look! It's that spoiled brat! Daddy! Yeah, run home to daddy. Uh, let's see. Moving right along. My only real complaint about Terrace is how much running there is to get places. It's occasionally a problem. Davik says you missed your last payment. Mm. Hey, look, it's some thugs. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> I love li listening to Aqualish talk. They do a great job with the uh, that sound. We can just let them drag this guy off. Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. So I want to fight these guys, but I don't want to do a light side thing. So, how about, I don't like your attitude, I better teach you a lesson. They ought to be talking to me with more respect. Boom. Down. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. Yeah, you should have listened, not really. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. That's actually very true. So how about you just give me all your credits? You don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Oh fuck you, Karth. Cheated me out of some credits. That's all right. I got some credits from these guys. Medical facilities. Gurney. Wow. The puns though. I mean, the puns are too strong. I don't I, I think I, I don't think I can I don't think I can handle it. Elkaforn. I see from your appearance that you are an off worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Uh, so yeah, tell me something about that rat ghoul disease. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the raccoons, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity... That's racist. The ...and those infected will eventually mutate into raccoons themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Done. I want one as a pet. I want a raccoon. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. 
They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. Nice. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. Hmm. I may be able to help you out for a price. I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. The medical center can barely afford to stay open as it is. But it hardly matters anyway. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I Unless you're a badass like me. We might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Yeah, I, I think I'm probably stupid enough. Please don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. Oh, well, maybe you down. are. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I could use some it healing. Just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Yeah, he does free healing, which is nice. What? Let's break into his uh, right. private little area it's back open. here. Hey now. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. What's going on here? Nothing. This. This isn't your concern. Just, just forget you saw anything, okay? Either tell me what's going on, or you can explain what? it to the Sith. No, you don't tell the Sith, please. I, I can explain all this. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I oh, to who cares? The Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. If they were too weak to survive on their own. They don't deserve help. Not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. It's gonna cost you when we keep this information secret. No, it's not. The Sith would torture men like these or worse, and you're not threatening this man while I'm present. I don't take orders from you. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, hey. I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You've got your credits now. I don't care if he's a good out. man. What's that got You're to do no with anything? Here. Will he talk to me still? What? what do you want? Are you here to threaten me again? Well, it won't do you any good. I don't have anything left for you to steal. Can't you just leave me alone? I guess I can't turn you away in ah, Even though I stole money from him, he'll still uh, heal me. I expect you to leave my facility. Sucker. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghoul serum. I've got an Why are you being all sneaky fied? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat ghoul serum. David Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the key. That's a good name, David Kang. He's that uh, crime lord that those thugs worked for. Where can I find him if David I want to give him the cure? The guy you would just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul Serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'll keep your offer in mind. Only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If sure, they shouldn't have been poor. Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. I like the sound of that. You're talking my language. All right, let's go over into these apartments. Hello, apartments.
security. That's right, you have the security. All right, come on, stop being dumb. Yes, ready. I have to get myself out of the way. It's open. Largo. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Give me the credits. Here, take the credits, but please, just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them. Shut up, Karth. Hey, yes. you know what? I think I'll kill him anyway. What do you want now? You're not going to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? Uh, no. No, strictly speaking, I'm not. But I already gave you all of my money. I don't have anything left. You promised you wouldn't tell Davik where I was. Did I, though? That's too bad. You can't tell Davik where I'm hiding with a blaster bolt through your chest! I like how even though he doesn't approve of this, Karth is going to help me murder this guy. In fact, I think he got the final blow. You still had 59 credits, you piece of shit. Holding out on me. Hey, lady. Let's see. Loot, 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 loot. Why were they having dinner on the floor? That's weird. More loot! Do do. Hello, child. My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. That's where the bad people live. <laughs> ah! Droid! Aw, oh, so cute. Hey, it's the party! Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. <laughs> Come on, you have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on. I like up. this girl. Let's get in. Let's get. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get with it. I'm all for it. Oh. Everybody passed out too quickly. We didn't even get to have fun. Seth armor though. Tharna? Nah. She's too passed out to enter my queries. We'll wear the Sith armor. You can have the combat suit. Yes. Boom. I'm all Sith now. Uh huh. On it. It's open. Yes. See what these people say. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. People actually uh, respond differently when you're wearing the you Sith armor. I love Sith, it. Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, and I made a complete circuit. Oh, actually, I want to take this off just for a second. That is some weird underwear. Why has it got, like... I guess maybe it's compression? It's a compression suit? Like a compression bodysuit? Alright. Alright. Hey, what drunk is people. This planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. 
These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Oh no. You guys don't get to talk to me that way. Let's uh kick your ass. Hey, this schlummy's got a mouth. Oh great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big schlummy. Maybe you should show us a little more respect. Time to teach How about you not? a lesson, schlummy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. How about I shoot you in the face? But yeah, the only reason I did that is because it's free dark side points. How'd you like that? Oh, that still counts as Bane in combat. Also, you know, every credit helps. Do do do. Oh, I think I can get dark side points and credits out of here. Maybe not if I'm wearing the Sith armor. I'm gonna try though. Kudu, Tony Rama na praka donko sercha chupa panki. Ah. Ni bajoni yo la wish. Got no secrets from the Sith, huh? Right away, your Sithness. Wow. I'm gonna have to start going by your Sithness. That's a great title. But yeah, that's not actually what I want, though. I like how I change right in front of her and suddenly. Droid and Droid Supply Shop. Why would they refuse to shop here just because you're a Twi'lek? I mean, I know that the headtails freak Jenny out, but I mean, generally speaking, the uh, consensus seems to be that Twi'leks are considered hot. Uh, utility droids. Let's ask about them. Uh, let me see your droids. Why tell me about the one that's not for sale? Like, legitimately, what's the point of that? Uh, just give me the cheap one. I got my own droid! I'm so excited. I got a pet! How are we going now? Dennis now is your gal. I like it. I like the rhyming. I'm down with rhyming. Where's my droid? Droid! Oh, you do not sound. Oh, that that was grating. You don't sound good. Let's let's not talk ever again. What? Bullshit! Literally made it like... Let's measure. Didn't he- like, after it fell over, didn't even make it all the way out the door. Its antenna is sticking in the doorway. Bullshit! Hey! Bitch! Give me my money back! Honest business, huh? We'll see how honest it is. I won't have to, I'm, have to beat your ass. Don't have to get out. Fuck you. No hard feelings. You killed my puppy. My droid puppy. Ah. 
You know, just stop telling, start telling people not to shop here. You'll be ruined. <laughs> That's right. And I'm over, bitch. That's what you get for selling me a droid that explodes before it even leaves the shop. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll be going now. Mostly I did that for the dark side points, though. But I am legitimately pissed that my droid blew up. I do like this armor, I mean, if nothing else, you gotta admit, the Sith have style. Oh, uh, yes, sir, absolutely. I am definitely one of you, and I did not just steal this armor. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Absolutely. I totally agree. Okay, cutscene. Let's watch a gang fight, and then the survivors will come try to murder us. Yeah, the Hidden Becks and the Volkers are the uh, the two gangs down here. The Becks are... Si you have to pick one to side with, basically, eventually. The Becks are supposed to be the light side option, and the Volkers are supposed to be the dark side option. Honestly, they're both asshole criminal gangs, so I don't know why it makes that much difference, but... Fuck it. Volkers it is. Sith aren't welcome here, alright, well... You're not welcome here, then. I'll shoot you in the face. Well, that was easy. There we go. Uh, I think there's some guys over here to fight, plus some loot. Then we'll go into those apartments. Yep. Shoot you in the face. Or sort of the face. I'm shooting the ground a lot. I'm, I am honestly a disgraceful shot right now. All right, 12, that's reasonable. All right, finally. I am a truly disgraceful shot. I mean, I don't I don't know if I've hit this guy in the last 3 or 4 attacks. Alright. Well, good enough. I already loot you. Yeah, this is an, one of the features they added in the second game that I really appreciated was when you were looking at a uh, container or a corpse that you'd already looted, it would say empty if there was nothing in it. Which was much appreciated because you keep. Uh, when you have like a large group of crates or something, unless you're carefully paying attention, you could easily end up looting the same thing over and over. That's alright, though. Isn't there a droid in here? Yeah. My health is not great. Pair the droid. How many parts have I got? 15? 5? What do I want to do? Targeting shield patrol mode. Oh, I can do all of them. Huh. Okay. So now, if I just let this guy go... Oh. 
that droid ought to do most of the fighting for me if I just follow be around behind him. And I still get the experience for all his kills, which is nice. Alright. Now I need to come up and open this door and then run away. Ow. I basically just want to keep up enough that the droid is level with whatever apartment I'm currently entering, because almost all of them have bad dudes in them. And I want its help as much as possible since I spent uh, a whole bunch of repair parts getting it squared away. There we go. Just don't want them to focus their attention on me. They are about to take Karth down if I'm not careful. No, 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 no. Okay, first of all, why haven't you healed? You got a couple times, actually. Good, thank you, droid. Energy shield, good. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I didn't buy the energy shield in the beginning, is you do find them around. I mean, they're not common, at least not at this point in the game, but... They're common enough that I didn't want to spend a hundred and something credits on them. Oh, I know this, I think. I don't remember how this puzzle goes. I'll come back and figure this out when I'm not following the droid around. That's a weird puzzle where you have to, like... I don't know, I might just try to guess it. Uh-huh. On it. It's open. Kipuna! Uh -huh. Oh, because I'm still wearing the fuck. All right, you know what? I gotta take this off. Not working out. Shut up! I'm gonna get hurt. All right. You are not worth much experience, I will say. I think he was a bounty. I didn't actually talk to him to find out. Sentry droids turn it around. Oh, I've almost made a loop. In fact, I have made a loop. Okay. Um. Let's go see if I can figure out this puzzle. It's been a while since I've done it. Okay, how did you get here? How did I. I- what? Did I not pass this way? I did. So how did you get here and I didn't fight you already? That's weird. Not really sure how that's possible. Alright, so I have to read this. First to drink or tree. Okay. Alright, Story of the Twisted Rank of Trio by Gilthos Buxaris. Uh, da -da. The Brains was the manager. Oh look, they made themselves the brains of the story. Is anyone surprised? Um... Yeah, Elinda... 
Uja with two A's. Then his brother Uji. Then Lupa replaced Uja. Uji quit. Luba brought in photo. Um, they're saying nice things about Davik by the fact that he's in Criminal Scum Lord. Uh, So then Alinda got kicked out and they brought in Ashana. Alright, based on that story, I'm going to guess the person who wrote this got killed by Davik. Alright, I'm pretty sure that what you have to do is, uh, let's see, I think you, yeah, because these things are all just the names of people in the band, I think you'd basically just have to activate these in the order of the people that joined the band, so we start with Alinda, and there's a hologram of her, and then Uja, then his brother, uh, Uji, Then this Lupa is that right? I think Lupa's right, and then Photo. And yeah, and then Ashana. And this should unlock this box. Which it did. And I get some armor, which is nice, because I've been running around naked, and I'm not enjoying it. Like, I am enjoying nudity as much as the next guy, but it's not great when you're being shot. I do not recommend it. Alright. All right, let's see. I'm going to be streaming for uh, about another 15 minutes. So let's get a little more done if we can. Another cantina, but this is like a seedy underworld cantina, so it's clearly better. I mean, blaster holes in the wall and stuff. Oh. Big bad bounty hunter Kalo Nord. <laughs> but a run and <laughs> making fun of his height. You'd be funny, tough guy. <laughs> this is going well. Yeah, something more to say? Yeah, I think he has exactly one more thing to say. Three. Yep, that's pretty much how that goes down when little swoop bike racers try to step up to uh, big bad bounty hunters.
Nice grenade, though. I'll take it. Uh, there's Holden. I guess I can tell him I killed Dia. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't yep. normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I hear you. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That woman tried to cut me with a vibro blade. I really? killed her already. Huh. I guess that's it then. A real shame it had to come to this. She was a good looking gal despite her temper. Ah well. Plenty more ladies out there for me. Sure, sure. If you want to collect the bounty, go talk to Zax. I gave him the This guy is such technique. scum. As far as I'm concerned, my part in this is over. Nice view of the dancing ladies, though. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. Speaking of... Just gonna take a moment. Alright, I'm done. Oh, more cutscenes. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Oh. Mission with the insults. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Solbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Ooh. Hi, Zalbar. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Man, mission. You are trouble. I'll talk to you anyway, though. I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Well, that's weird. A Twi'lek who speaks Galactic it's not Basic. That strange. Most aliens can speak Basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Vulkers, kid. You got a name? My name guts. Is she showed and being a is my best friend, tiny dick bag. I'll probably give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need, yeah, I'm just gonna be going now. Going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Yeah, right. You go do that. Oh, yeah. Weirdest looking creature in this whole game. I have... I don't even... I don't even know. It's got two heads. And it's like... What's even going on here? Just coming, going over there to stare at the freak. I don't remember if I can do this. I'm gonna try. Yeah, maybe you should just give up. Or hey, I have a better idea actually. Let's try something else. 
we team and bull rank thong muli ra on shad touring um ni patoka wanga chan how do you know if i'm any good do you really have a choice sure sure no i'm definitely not gonna screw it up Mm. Alright, let's dance a little. Try not to screw it up. Man, you're being bitchy. Not really making me want to help you out. Well, I fell down. Uh, actually, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Cost you your one shot at fame and fortune. I like how some of the best modeling they did in this game was on the, on her boobs and on the various boobs of the various Twi'leks. Just get up behind that. Now, here's our chance. Hmm. Ruin Lin's audition by taking a dive. Boom. Let's ruin your life. It only took about five minutes of my life to ruin yours. Just like that. Yeah, I did do that on purpose. I did rock your wreck your one shot at the big time. Hmm, you're right. I ruined your audition on purpose. <laughs> that was fun. I really feel like they should give me dark side points for that, but... Yeah, I'm new. I've already filled out some of your bounties before you've even told me about them, though. So hi, Zach. I'm gonna be your best friend, as long as your best friend is someone who you pay money to. Legal and otherwise, you say? Hmm. 
I don't think you have any information I don't know already. And it costs, so. Tell me about downies. Selvin. I like that name. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Dia, Largo? Oh, well, I already took care of them. Okay, I don't know about Devic's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And Metric, I took it. I took care of him too already. So uh, you're gonna owe me a lot of money right now. I probably can't persuade you to pay me more, but I'll try. Yep, lesson for all traders. You'll die even if the person killing you has no idea why they're doing it. Three hundred credits, you say? Oh, and four hundred. Hey, he's gonna give it to me. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and collect these real quick. Nice girl, but she attacked Holden and Holden worked for Davik. That was dumb. Because that just turned her into credits. And give me what? You get ah? Uh, I must have just rolled well last time because now he won't give it to me. Yeah, I'll take the 300. You owe Davik money, you pay. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good general uh, rule. First of all, don't take out loans from loan sharks. Second, if you take out loans from loan sharks, pay them, or you're gonna end up with broken kneecaps or dead. Alright, I'll be going. I'll see you later, Zax. When I've got the rest of the bounties. In the meantime... Uh, I think that's gonna be it for me tonight, guys. Hope you had a good time. First ever Star Wars Wednesdays. I'll be next back next week for more KOTOR, and uh, I will be back this Friday for the uh, first ever Brutal Fridays playing Brutal Legend. Until then, uh, you had fun, like the video, helps out. Uh, if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe, that way you'll get uh, notifications anytime that I stream. Uh, until then, see ya!